Hello friends, this is Professor Krunal K. Punjani. While writing a quality research paper for the journals index in Scopus and ABDC, the first important task is to identify and finalize an appropriate research topic. So in this video, let us discuss a five-step process of finalizing an appropriate research topic. So let's begin with the first step. The first step is to identify the broader topic in your area of interest. This is very essential as you will require to spend a long time on your research work. Further, this can be done in two different ways. Either you can opt for personal interest or you can also opt for your work interest. For example, a researcher's personal interest could be in the area of advertising. However, his work interest could be in the area of education, training or digital marketing. So that specific researcher can choose either of this topic as his broader topic. The second step is to develop good understanding about the broader topic. For this purpose, extensive reading of the relevant literature of the research area selected is very crucial because quality research is all about contributing to the body of knowledge and we can contribute something new and relevant when we have a good idea and understanding of what the existing body of knowledge already includes. The next question comes to the mind is what and how much to read? Well, I would suggest initially read at least the abstract part of the relevant research papers and keep noting down three C's. These three C's are construct, context, and conclusion. Well, the constructs means variables considered for that specific research study. Context means methodology, population, or geographic areas considered for that specific research study. And conclusion means the major findings of that specific research study. The third step is identify the relevant gap in the existing body of knowledge. Well, there exist some gap spotting techniques, but initially we can refer future research part in the relevant research papers which are published in our research domain. This future research part is generally mentioned at the end of such research papers just before the references part. It will help you in narrowing down your broader topic into the specific research topic. The fourth step is self-assessment. This self-assessment includes three different questions. The first question that you need to answer is what you want to research. That is, you need to mention about the clarity on the broader research topic. For example, say a researcher's broader research topic is branding. Okay. The second question is what has been done so far in that specific broader topic. For that purpose, extensive reading and knowing the existing body of knowledge is very much important. As we discussed previously, we need to also study the three C's that is constructs, context and conclusion. Now for example, for the broader topic branding, while doing the extensive reading, a researchers identify that yes, impact of branding on attitude towards the brand, purchase intention, 
customer perceptions and consumer behavior have been already studied okay so this is this will answer the second question of what has been done so far the last question to answer in this self assessment step is why it is important to research this so here we need to consider the identification and justification of the gaps identified for example say from the branding area we identify the gap as co-branding in consumer durables with respect to the brand loyalty have not yet been studied so why it is important to study this so there could be two implications first is academic implication yes because this specific topic that is co-branding in consumer durables with respect to brand loyalty have not yet been studied by the researchers second practical implication would be such kind of study would be helpful for marketers to understand the impact of co-branding on brand loyalty for consumer durables the fifth and final step is final check here you need to check whether the narrow down and specific topic satisfies any one of these two conditions first condition is issues of your specific research topic have not yet been addressed so far if yes then you can go ahead with this topic or have been partly or unsatisfactorily resolved so there exist a scope for further investigation yes in this case also you can take your research topic forward friends i hope this five step process will help you in finalizing your appropriate research topic in your specific research area in the upcoming videos we will discuss about several aspects of writing a quality research paper in a bit simpler but a systematic manner so looking forward to see you in my next video thank you